Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to check out a demo of Arkin, a retro inspired Zelda like game that is pretty cool from what I have seen so far on Twitter. This is an interesting thing. I usually start in a game immediately, but there is something that I would like to show off. So when we go in here to create a new saved game file we get an option right off the bat of game mode standard item randomizer and world randomizer that is really cool it seems like zelda randomizer games are very popular i think link to the past is one of the most popular one and it's really cool to see a game that is retro inspired zelda inspired and has that built in i like that feature but we have to get in and see what the standard game is before we play around with the randomizers i've been following this along for a little bit i want to continue to follow i will continue to follow the game we'll just check out see what's added in the demo it is on itch.io right now and when the game is released we could jump in see the standard and see how the randomizer plays out but let's check out the standard first and we got to create a name and one of the best things i think of when i think of these retro inspired games is they allow for a lot longer name which is so great you cannot fit stingray in when you're playing like final fantasy one or something like that they just allowed four characters or six characters because you you only had so much information there you there's only so much that you could do for that space and i think it's really cool when we get into these retro inspired games that you i mean the space is not an option anymore so you can put your full name in there and i just i this is the little thing sometimes that i really enjoy so this is Arkin, an idyllic land in a long forgotten time. The day has come for you to take the guard's trial. Move the hero with the directional key, use A's to talk to people. Look at the map with X, show your inventory with the start button. You can also save game there. First off, you should head to the king at the castle. Okay, so we A to talk to people. I think it was X to show the map. That's really cool. I like that. So we could actually mark a location on here, which looks looks pretty cool. It looks like with A, we can mark a location. Let's close that. And we also wanted to see our inventory here. So we got some inventory and we got some artifacts over to the right. And then we could also come down and, oh, it's the Y button to save the game. So that's kind of cool. We, let's see, wait, we are gonna have to hit start again, I think, there we go. So let's see what this size is. This is my house of Stingray. That's pretty cool, I like that a bit. Uh, I like that, uh, I like, I'm not exactly sure how I wanna say that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we could roll, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I have been following this along on Twitter and it's pretty neat what the developer has been putting into this. I'm kind of excited. I keep on hitting that button and that's not the button I want to do. So we want to A is actually so A, B and Y and then X is our map. We're going to have to get used to that. I would like to probably go over here. We need to see the king of first. So let's see what this guard has to say. The guards trial is about to begin. You should hurry and go to the castle. Well, you know what? I don't know where the castle is. Maybe this, I bet you, is the castle. I want to mark that. Let's see what that does. I can put a little mark right there. I'm not sure if that's going to give me any kind of direction. No, it doesn't look like it's going to give me any kind of direction from this menu. I do want to see what's in my house, though. It looks like I got a little bed, some pots. Can I pick up these pots? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Okay, so we got little crystals for our life, which is cool. I like that the art style with his little hair funny floof bouncing i like it i definitely am impressed already with the the nice graphics and again if you've been around the channel for any length of time you know that i like little things in games it makes it so much better just little touches 
really add to a game and I really like that these flowers are dancing. It just makes me happy to see dancing flowers. Let's see what the sign says. Linus Castle Albina Village. I, well, I guess I want to go to the castle. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to roll my way to the castle. Let's roll to the castle. I've got to get in here and see what this guard quest is all about. Or this, I guess I'm supposed to be training for the guards. But I have a feeling it's not going to end up happening that way. Something is going to happen in which... Ooh, that's a rupee. I definitely need that. I guess it doesn't say what it is in this game, but I'm just using the Zelda reference. There you go. That's really nice right off the bat. That is a very indicative of early Zelda games, not like Zelda 1 or 2. I think it was A Link to the Past that started doing this, like a 3D on a 2D map, which is really cool. I am super impressed with that. That's a nice little addition. There's something that really adds to a game in my opinion okay let's see if we can get up here to the guards we're not gonna have to break every pot here <laughs> greeting young fellow the time has come for you to take the guards trial you will find the cave of trials a bit south of this castle the guard will only let you in with a sword here take it do, 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 do. we got a sword yay Awesome. You obtained the King Sword. Use B button to swing it. You can now defend yourself against enemies and cut some kinds of things. Return to me after you have passed the trial. Okay, well, I wonder if we could delete a mark. I have that mark there, but there doesn't seem to be. Oh, okay, if I'm on it, I can delete it. So there is a cave a little south. I'm, I'm gonna have to get used to these controls here so we can swing our sword or roll that's kind of cool can we swing the sword at the pots no but we can definitely pick them up for more rupees I love it and we can probably use those to hit people with when we get down that far so A is roll B is to swing and then Y is going to be some other action down the road can we cut the bushes no we cannot cut the royal bushes but I wait, bet we got the oh yeah we've got I mean any Zelda game or any Zelda light -like game you've got to be able to cut bushes that's like a pre requisite that's all the way through any Zelda game as far as I know is the ability to cut which can we cut the signs that would be kind of cool if we could cut the sign as well but I've recently picked up Breath of the Wild I know it's a long time coming I had something that I really wasn't planning on playing to be honest, but I bought it for my son I think last not just this last Christmas, but the Christmas before so a year ago and He kind of got into it a little bit he played a little bit But then put it away and I thought I would try it out Recently just uh, kind of on a whim to be honest with you Just try it out to see what it was like and I was super impressed with it really been doing a lot of breath of the wild right now and i was very this is all coming around to i was very excited to see that you can cut grass in breath of the wild i was super stoked about that there is a lot of very interesting and fun stuff that you could do in breath of the wild but this is not about breath of the wild we are Salarina Ruins and Windrage Lake. I he said south, but how south did he mean? I'm kind of looking for a little cave with a guard, and I bet you that's it there. I just think it's really cool to like as I'm trying out these games, especially a lot of Zelda games, Zelda light games that I've played on here. I know they're retro inspired, but to get that same feel, I feel that breath of the wild has that same feel as the original zelda game in that complete es exploration you can go anywhere you kind of have to poke around that kind of stuff and i really like that okay let's talk to them. this is the cave of trials you got a sword that means you can enter good luck okay well let's we got fire we also have these things and i want to say that these are probably places that I could bomb and maybe go down to a lower level. We'll have to see that. 
as we continue. Is that something I could read? Welcome to the cave of trials. To pass the trial, you must find the treasure of this cave. Well, we can go up and my standard rule in the dungeons is to go into the open doors before you try to open other doors. So we're gonna see if we can get around as much as possible before we start picking on trying to open doors. Some things can be lifted and carried around to lift an object, the A button while facing it, you can throw an object with the A button again. That's kind of good, I like that a little bit. Again, if you're promoting your game as a Zelda-like, I feel that some of this is intuitive. You should be able to know this stuff. So I don't know if this is superfluous to see this, but it also, you know, not everybody has played a Zelda game, maybe picking this up for the first time and they need this information. So I wouldn't say completely, but I'm a little bit. Many ancient ruins of this land have secret mechanism to open closed doors. To open this door, you have to light the torch. Carry flintstone from the corner to the torch and strike it with your sword. So if we go up here now, this is a new mechanic and I kind of like that. So we put that flint there. Oh, that's not the right button. I wonder if I could change that because I'm not gonna get this right. I like that. I wonder if, so if I put that flint, wait, I didn't mean to throw it. Let's just put it, well, I'm still throwing it. Let's see if I can put this. So if I hit a flint, it's gonna sit off fire in the direction I hit that. I think that is a very cool mechanic that is very nice. What do we got? Are these just royal guards here? Royal guards developed different sword techniques. Swinging your sword, hold the B button to point the direction you're facing. After a while, the blade charges with energy. Yeah, okay, so we we know to do that. You could, there we go. We got that. We're gonna develop a different sword. Sword thrust, you must attack while rolling. Oh, right, to roll, you have to, okay, so it's a, a, wait, A, B, there we go, that's cool, I like that, you kind of slide on your feet. That's kind of cool, so, whew. let's see if we can work that out. Ah, there we go, we got that little green blob, I like it. Do -do 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 -do. We are doing a well here, and I'm, I'm liking this so far, pretty well done. I, again, I don't know how, I wanna say it's superfluous to have those little techniques or those little teaching moments, tutorials in there, but again, you gotta assume that somebody has not played your game. Even if you have, you know, a, a Zelda inspired, maybe they have never played Zelda and it's important to give them the information. Again, this may not be the best way to give them the information, but it's not a bad way either. It, the, I'm feeling that the Cave of Trials here is going to be a tutorial kind of thing. I do like, if you notice that action button up there does change, so when it's I'm doing nothing, it goes away. When I am walking, you can see up there in the top right corner, it says roll. When I get to next to this, it'll say read. So that's a really cool dynamic thing there that is helpful. A stone block must be pushed to open this door. Remember the mechanisms, it can be found very often in ruins and dungeons. So it's a, the old move the block trick. We got that. And then we got a treasure chest. Yay! What does this say? Great, you reached the end of the trial. Open the treasure chest by pressing the A button chest can only be open when facing the lock. Now that is, can be a very important distinction. So I cannot go back here and open the treasure chest. That's something that we're gonna have to be here to open it and in Breath of the Wild and a lot of the, I know, Ocarina Time. I don't remember the original Zelda. You actually did not have to be facing the front of the chest to open the chest. You found the wooden shield. It's a simple shield which protects you from small projectiles and enemies. Look at that, I got my shield, yeah boy. Let's go. So we've got the 
treasure. We have beat the uh, trial. Yeah, this that's an odd to have X to be the map. Not necessarily a bad thing, but definitely I'm gonna have to get used to that. To hear as you look again, the top right it says read Celara ruins are this way and i'm not sure i want to go to the solar ruins oh i can pick up the grass too that's kind of cool i like this little roll technique it's much faster than walking it's going to be that old ocarina of time speed one thing here Woo! we're going to be rolling my uh son was playing ocarina of time a, a few days ago while i was playing the breath of the wild and he was running across Hyrule Field just rolling over and over again. I'm like, man, can you believe that 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 sound effect over and over again was a little annoying. Like, come on, come on, you don't need to roll everywhere. I understand that. I know it's fun. I know it gets to you there faster, but you really don't need to do that constantly. Okay, so let's cut up some more bushes, see if we can get some more. We were able to get 26. I, I don't want to say rupees, really. It, it doesn't really say yet, but yay, we got our sword and our shield in our, in, well, not really inventory, but our artifact section, our item section, and that is good. But yeah, it doesn't really say what the, the money system is, but it is, I'm going to probably be calling it rupees just from lack of another word. But we got those all from like searching around, not really doing anything just cutting down bushes so that's kind of cool what if there's something special back here i bet there is a oh we got something you found a golden fairy that poor thing seems to be lost well that's kind of cool so we found a golden fairy i do not know what the golden fairy does but we found one okay right, let's see if there's anything else secret i'm gonna assume that these rocks here we're gonna have to be able to pick at some point uh, we'll get gauntlets of power or something and be able to pick up those rocks hey we got found a Ooh, i'm not sure if this is a good idea or not we got bombs now sweet okay let's see if we can land a... oh there we go is it going to just blow up on its own it is going to blow up on its own but here as you can see again in the up top right you can see lift i pick it up and then i can throw it with the a button again i like that a lot Ooh, what do we got here i uh, a lot of treasure chests it looks like i wonder if oh there's a big ruby what is that five yeah open we got you found a green gem okay so they're calling them gem it's worth 20 blue ones that's cool so gems oh we got another fairy oh, we got two golden fairies we're doing good and a whole lot of gems that's awesome we're up to 75 gems now that's definitely useful here we go get through that grass and then let's go see the king and see what he has to say to us now that we have passed the world test i know that's just out i was going to try to get up to a I was trying to get up to like this top level here and I'm not sure how there is a way maybe to do there we go we can go steps and I bet we can go out here I'm looking at these little uh somewhere there was I somewhere I saw treasure there we go I see a treasure chest there we'll have to figure out how to get to that I don't I know it's not really necessary but it's gonna bother me now Let's peek in. Hey, there we go. Let's talk to the guard and see what he says. The king told me to guard this treasure ship. Maybe come back later. Yeah, okay. So they're definitely in because I can't open it from the side. I can't get to these yet. So we'll have to maybe come back and do that another time. So that is definitely good to know that we can only open treasure chest from the front. We're about to get to the king again. I wonder, we are not, we are not limited to the grid. Now, uh, something I did notice recently in the original Zelda game is you are not limited to the grid of the, the grid of the dungeons or the grid of the world, but the enemies are, and that's a very interesting 
and does have an effect in your ability to be able to attack enemies and you can use that to your advantage when you're attacking the enemies you can stand like in the middle of the grid and be able to attack them without them really being able to attack you because you've got to move or they've got to move yeah they've got to move fully into the square before they could turn to attack you so if you're standing like in the middle between two grid pieces then they can't attack you and you can get actually extra hits in there and i wonder if this is the same way we'll have to look a little bit more at the enemies when we get to that point let's talk splendid i have seen you pass the trial ha 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 that makes you a royal guard with immediate effect of course you have earned yourself a reward as as well here take it already what i get i got a piece of life aggregate find four pieces in total to increase your maximum life energy we now have one piece that's cool as a world guard you have to finish tasks in service of the world house my court magician elia will now explain to you what your first task is about greetings i'm sorry i'm a bit shy so your task you have to obtain the three spirit orbs these ancient relics will help us to open a portal to the flip world it's very important that we get these spirit orbs do you hear my research revealed that the orbs can be found in three ancient buildings it'll be dangerous these so-called dungeons host many monsters and traps the first spirit orb lies in stone hall temple you can find the temple at Solara Ruins, southeast of the castle. I'll mark the location of the dungeons on your map. Take a look at the map by pressing the X button. When you have the, when you have questions, talk to the people in Albina Village in the west. Return to us as soon as you have all three spirit orbs. This is starting to really feel like Link to the Past. It had a, if I remember, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it has a duality there of the world as well where you switch between do like a good world and a dark world so we need to let's see if they marked them so we have to go okay we got to go here here and then as well up here we are running to the, close to the end of this episode and i don't think we'll get to a dungeon but we will be checking this out a little bit more I'm impressed and definitely there is something here and I'm curious if this where is the demo is going at some demos have like part of the game finished and some demos have like the full storyline finished and then it's filling it in and tweaking it and making it better as you go through so I'm not sure which way this is I might be going to one of these dungeons and it's just not 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 active that's not the right word i wanted to say but it is just not open or something so we'll check this out maybe in another episode i definitely there's something here there's something here that i would like to check out and see more of i am impressed with the game and very curious with how things are going to happen here we got some more enemies here it looks like this looks like a big hopping spider and we took our first damage there ouch we took our second damage there as well so it looked like we got one hit took half of a heart off that's something that's also very good to know we got a little bug here i like the individual design of these creatures here look there we go we got him see if we can get as many of these rupees as possible nope not rupees they're gems they have named them in the game and i will try to stick it to that name let's see what you have to say a bit further ahead you'll find the solara ruins you need to be careful Mo monsters have been sighted there since the incident Ooh, spooky incident i don't know what's going on but we're going to be picking up a lot of stuff here we got nine bombs now and i'm curious i think it's up this way is the way to the let's see if i could drop up can i throw bombs no it looks like you just place bombs i'm gonna get that guy sweet oh i ran into him ouch 
I didn't really want to do that. Let's see, Solera Ruins is down. Wonder if I can blow any of these rocks up. See if that's a thing. No, but I bet you there are some rocks that I can blow up. And I just have to find the, oh, that was a little worrisome there. I figured he was gonna be able to get to me. Ah! Okay, I didn't expect that rock to move. I should have. It looked different than the other rocks that I really should have expected it to move, but I didn't. There is something to get over there, but I'm kind of in a maze, it looks like a little bit. Uh, let's get this little rat guy right here. I would like to go, that's probably the dungeon. I want to go around and see if I can get to that chest I saw. Very maze-like here, ouch. We're getting a lot of damage and not being able to come back from it. And we've got to be careful. Ugh, no, go away. Oh, the shadow's very helpful. As the guy jumps around, you can see the shadow on the ground and that's going to be helpful as we navigate him. Oh, run, run, eh. He got me a couple times there. So we got to watch out for these guys little rock guys Let's see what's in this treasure chest and we got a, a red gem and that is worth five and we should be able to jump right back down to the dungeon here it looks like there we go we're gonna take a peek into the dungeon and then in the episode i would like to thank you all for watching I am going to, I like this. I will be definitely following the game and will probably be continuing looking at the demo as well. Thank you so much for watching and I do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.